with me, Jan Jette. How do you uh, generally like to play against a swindler like uh, over the board? Good, good question. And I like my, my results against swindlers have always been worse. It feels like than they should have been. Like I don't score particularly well against swindlers. Yeah, basically to I try to the best of my ability to to keep it simple, to you know consolidate my my position to not take unnecessary pawns. Mm -hmm. um, but it's 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 difficult. It's difficult. Like in, in in the clubs that I've been a member of, there's you know various members who are you know um, <laughs> swindlers and have a very aggressive play style and uh i have to say my <clears throat> uh, score um, against them is yeah worse worse than it uh should should be and here we have the russian opening which is uh, okay now we have the four uh, knights uh, opening which is like the opening which every child in school <laughs> or in chess school learns as one of the first things but for for knights uh, game that's something yeah very symmetrical if if this was like a regular game against human or human opponent or something i would you know castle and then play d3 and play f4 eventually mm -hmm. um and i see no reason to kind of deviate from that strategy just just yet i agree probably castling is good yeah. <laughs> okay so it stays absolutely symmetrical. Now I'm thinking the swindler is uh, not the swindler anymore, but a troll. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so doesn't even doesn't even take the bishop. Okay. Well then, so the swindler looks quite confident. The position is equal. Well, of course, I mean nothing even has trade been traded. I think this is actually working in the swindler's favor. If no piece is traded, I think so too. Right, it that uh, keeps like uh, like it. It's it's better for the swindler. It gives him more options if the 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 position remains complex and there's more and more pieces on the board. So why don't we? And I mean the the knight doesn't really serve a purpose on the queen side anyway. Um, anything hanging here? No. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, yeah. That's also a common common move mm. by Black. I dislike it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the pre-move has been pre -move, okay. oh, they... <laughs> ah, I tricked you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, why a six, though? Hmm? To go hmm. for b5 and then c5 and then c4 and then... That's <laughs> hmm. a good question. I mean, it's a strong, strong club player. So this is not just a random... Yeah random move um but after all it's the swindler and the swindler will make mistakes on purpose so mm -hmm. you can go against those ultra aggressive club players which you mentioned earlier too, <laughs> and learn how to deal with them how to take yeah. away the toy which is the queen or yeah. some other pieces well i mean knight knight g3 uh why not yeah let's just Fulfill this plan, maybe. Oh, a typical move. What I would play as black here. I say I, I'm actually surprised how well it is really capturing my playing style. <laughs> because as black, I wouldn't really know what to do here. So I would often go for hey, h5. Cannot be wrong, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I, uh, didn't Kasparov say that? At, at, uh, he was probably joking, half or half joking, that you know, if he doesn't know if he's running out of ideas, he just pushes the H pawn or something. <laughs> and, I think I took um, this too serious. This comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, night. This seems like a good idea. Oh, there it goes. B five, yeah. and then the bishop goes to B seven. Seven. Or hmm. yeah, who knows? Hmm. Okay. So black is not really worried here. Oh wow. I wonder, you know, of course, if something like knight takes d6 works and then queen takes and I take the knight on b on a5, but of course he can take on b3 
first and then good point very good point yes i was almost convinced the way you uh, mentioned it that this might actually be some interesting nice thing but i mean i played queen e1 because i wanted or i want to play the uh, i want to put the queen on on to g3 G3, right right? or g or h4 even yeah or h4 even something like that yeah i think that was a very good move queen e1 well i mean i made it Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. We do not want mate threats. That yeah. was the clear answer. And now, of course, yeah, that is a valid point. Black is slightly better because now our white bishop is in a bit of a struggle. Well, yeah, that is... Uh, ooh. You actually managed to save both pieces with this move so far that was quite impressive Jan I have to say I didn't see that well it still doesn't fully solve the predicament of the bishop because I can't really take on e4 because then c5 no no c4 is why don't I just play rook okay and the rook goes to c8 and oh now black is actually better hmm so, so you're yeah options here are a3 or, or b3 no no a3 or c3 right mm-hmm. Like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so let's do a3 oh uh, the swindler is rough well, yeah <laughs> Well, I don't want him to have that open C file, so I think I'll take once with the pawn. And then you retreat. Retreat. But of course, C3 is in the air, right? It's in the air, yeah. yeah. But what to do, what else to do? Right. That's what else okay. to do? Hmm. Oh, the fox is happy. It turned into... A Disney-esque. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Happy little foxy. Oops. I thought about this too. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Now that the um. queen out of a sudden, which I didn't have on the menu at all, mm. is also part of this game. And about to take a three, right? Okay, yeah. 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 Yes. There's a cute way to protect the pawn <laughs> <laughs> with the queen on g6. The question is for how yes. long? <laughs> yes. So should I just take the... Ah, that pawn is hanging on d6. Yeah. I didn't even see yeah. that. <sighs> I'm about to lose pawns here, some pawns anyway, so I might as well get mine. Yeah, no problem. I think queen, I think queen e7. There are some threats. Oh. Okay. Okay. White is better. It happened. Better. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Swindler. Thank you for helping you. us a little. <laughs> that's right. But that's what I was saying earlier, right? Like, that's why... Often it's just not fun to play against like a traditional engine because they just collect the pawns and then the game ends. Exactly. And, Normally and you would give first up. First of all, up. you lose. Yeah. And, and secondly, it didn't even feel like a real chess game. So um, having, you know, having an opponent who, who is um, making the experience a bit more like, you know, human-like, I, I think is really goes a long way in, in, in just making the overall training more interesting and, and effective here. So how to take on F7? That's the question, right? So the good thing is now they cannot even take on F5, right? I think I'll take with the bishop. Yeah. Yes. White is clearly better. Very good. But the swindler. Well, you know, it almost looks like there must be some checkmate here, maybe. For a second it does, but we only have those two active pieces the bishop and the queen maybe it's enough though that that can't be a bad move anyway so i might as well (laughs) all right goody 
or queen f8 maybe i mean h4 just to block the escape square on on g5 right yeah and then the question is do we get uh can we play queen f8 queen h8 we cannot if the queen goes to c7 and then c8 right if my queen somehow got to f4 that'd be also be great but um i don't really see a clear path but then again why even worry why even play h4 if the queen can go to f8 immediately yeah. then to h8 and then take on g7 or am i wrong yeah that's you know that's that looks that looks good too yeah, let's do that. let's do that let's see Let's see. Oh, uh, oops. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason why. Oh, no. What have I done? Queen just goes back to, I mean, Queen goes back to E7. At least we removed his rook from, you know, from the second rank where I don't want it to be. So... It's nice that you can see something optimistic. I should really mm -hmm. shut my mouth. Okay. Well, we might have a draw, but <laughs> we, we can do better. That's a good question. Does the swindler like? Are there situations where the swindler would go for a for a draw? I guess if the swindler is worse. Yeah. It might right now it says here, right, that white is slightly better. So I guess the swindler would keep keep on playing, right? Like being slightly worse from, from his perspective. That's but, not but this if it is a true swindler, you're so right. Yeah. It could happen that yeah. they because of their nature, they would ah, <laughs> they would do something else. <laughs> yeah. uh, because now the pawn is protected. Well but now I could play H4. No. no, it's still not working because of this stupid rook d8 move, which I didn't even calculate. I could also play rook d1 to prevent rook d8 from happening. That was a fantastic move, Jan. It is clearly better. Okay. Or maybe, maybe white is clearly better maybe that's just based on the fact that at, at least for the moment i'm two pawns up yeah let's make a move now let's let's take a okay i take the queen takes rook takes queen i take the rook his knight takes the rook i play knight a rook to d1 and then rook to d6 with tempo or something like that let's mm. try that yeah i don't see anything else so let's yeah we could also always do yeah click and check but let's i think this is just that's i guess well e5 is a stronger and now i was thinking that the whole idea the, the whole reason why i wanted to play this is because i think rook d6 is strong hmm if he plays knight g4 now, then suddenly mate is is certain too, right? So I need to be careful. <laughs> You're right. Yes. <laughs> um, should I still grab the pawn? I mean, I'm just running away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mate threat is on the board. <laughs> Okay, so I can either move the G pawn or play king, play king F1, but then I lose two pawns with with check basically, right? So yeah. Uh, Oof. Huh. That's unexpected. Uh, yeah. Or I think if I play bishop F7 check, I think that forces his um, knight back to. F6, unless, yeah, why don't I do that? Yeah. Well, it doesn't do it. Oh, interesting. Well, then now maybe I take the pawn on H5. A must, I think. I think so, yeah. It... Ooh. Only one move. Yeah, true. 
Okay, luckily the knight is not protected, but uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, is it a draw? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Well, it, I, it's my choice, right? It's, yes, it's my yes, choice. Yes, if I yes, don't yes. want a draw, I play uh, King H... King H1? Three. King F1? King... One. Yeah. I guess King H3 is a draw anyway, because after Knight F2... You have to go back, back again, yeah. Back again, so... But King F1... Yeah, well, I don't like F1 because then the pawn on E3 is just hanging with, with check, right? And that seems... Then you go to E1. E1. Aha, uh -huh. and I see now, but after King H1, the rook will also give a check on D1 again, right? Yeah, that's a good point, right? So uh, I guess the engine is thinking that with uh, three pawns down... They, draw they good. should go for a draw. So let's do. You, do you want to? Yeah, I mean, you can have a draw. Of course, it's your game. So maybe a draw is something satisfying. You know what? Knowing that this could be a draw, why don't we play it out and go for the? There we go. That's the spirit. Spirit here. Okay. Oh, white is winning. I think it. I think it was a good decision you took. White is winning now. Okay. Yeah, and you know what? I think I know why. Can you see it too, dear, dear viewers? Can you spot a checkmate in six? I one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's a mate in six, but I might be wrong. Of course. That I made in six is not something I would you know immediately see. This is something that on a good day I, I might find, like you know, after a long analysis. Um, Maybe I'm just seeing something absolutely stupid, which I no, I'm quite sure actually. I think we will. I think this is uh, we won. Yeah, it's not a made in six because black can sacrifice the knight. What a pity. <laughs> but it was close <laughs> there we go okay so but now yeah the problem is that um it's rook a8 h8 right and then that's mate that's mate but then the knight can take on f5 yeah which is a spaßbremse another german word <laughs> <laughs> yeah Maybe Let's, that's for Fritz Twenty, like to to program, like to, to allow to allow a beautiful mate if there is one or something. It happened. It just happened. What you just spoke out, it happened. <laughs> I think black is allow. Oh no, I was wrong. <laughs> They're so evil. Yes, mm -hmm. they can, they can still just take, go right? back. Yes, all that. No. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. they can still just take. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, well, I want to stay close to my. To, I want to stay close to this one here. Okay. No, I okay. think. Well, yeah, it just. Oh, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well. It just gives yeah. up. I think, yeah, because there was a checkmate anyway. Oh. Checkmate. <laughs> oh, okay. no, oh wow. no! 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 Um, <laughs> it's a stalemate. <laughs> <laughs> the swindler strikes <laughs> back. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, can we solve this? That's an unexpected oh. complication here at the very end. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, how do I? <laughs> <laughs> the swindler got us. But how insane is that? That the swindler huh. is is like I mean the greatest swindle of of them all. Mm -hmm. The swindler is supposed to swindle in 
playing super crazy aggressive moves, but I never thought of the swindler to being so tricky to <laughs> force yeah. in a stalemate. It um, <laughs> swindled itself out of uh, half a point, right? So <laughs> very cool. Very cool. That was absolutely fantastic. Jan, I am so happy and thankful that you uh, participated in this little uh, uh, game against Fritz19. It was very enjoyable. and. I thank all of you for watching and uh, yeah, I want to see your results against the swindler soon. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. This was, this was a lot of fun. Like playing, you know, against an engine like this is a lot more fun than, uh, you know, traditional, uh, you know, or previous versions where, you know, it's just it, the computer just plays too much like a computer and there's no uh, resemblance to any kind of human, human like chess game. So this was fun. Thank you. Thank you. 